Welcome back to Sekiro, with me and my wife, Anne. Hello. So before I go back to the Harada estate, uh, I want to come back here and see if anything's new, spend my money before I lose it, and also equip the axe that we found at the temple at the Harada estate. It's a shinobi prosthetic tool, so it has to be equipped by the sculptor. <laughs> oh right, we got the flame vent a while ago. Oh. Deals fire damage to enemies via short range blast of fire while also afflicting burn status. It's difficult, get difficult to control the rage of those with red eyes through the power of man alone. They do, however, fear the flame above all else. This tool has the power to make them tremble. So can I just, like... Can I just craft all of these and then equip them at will? I suppose so, yeah. Right? Because this is just a created, right? Yeah. Okay. Prosthetic Esoteric Text A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with Shinobi Prosthetic grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi, but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. So he was just waking, faking that cough earlier, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've seen that before. I guess I'll see if there's anything new with Emma. Hmm. ブッシドより詳しい調べをできます。流害にかかったものがいれば当たってみよう。お願いします。では、また。So can I equip these shinobi prosthetic skills or do I need more skill points to be able to spend on them? Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, so just... Oh, when the hell did I get three more skill points? <laughs> huh, okay. <clears throat> but yeah, it just opened up the prosthetic arts as well as the shinobi arts. Uh, okay, well, let's see what there is to choose from. So, back in the shinobi arts, I can get uh, shinobi's karma body. Increases the maximum number of spirit emblems that can be held. Spirit emblems are manifestations of regret. Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many spirit emblems. Should nobody who have killed many must bear the physical toll of those sins. It... So it sounds like holding more spirit emblems means that... I'm more and more regretful of our actions? Hmm. Right? They're haunted... Those regretful of their vile actions are haunted by many spirit emblems? And this is to increase how many spirit emblems you can hold. Yeah. So, like, it's not really a good thing to have them. <laughs> or at least it's not a good sign. Can also get Mikiri Counter. Enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down 
on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for sharp eyes of a shinobi. I don't know about that one, because, like, I can already counter enemy thrusts. Mm. And it already hurts their posture quite a bit. Right, because you can deflect, not guard, but you can deflect thrusts. I'm sure this would do more posture damage, but... Hmm. And let's see, this is... Combat art. Martial art. You can only have one combat art applied at a time. I don't think that's the same for martial arts, though. No. These blue ones are martial arts? I think those are just always present. Oh. So I wouldn't have to, like, equip the Makiri counter. But that would also give me access to other things. Run and slide. Allows one to slide into a crouched position while sprinting. Sprint through an area and slide into cover or otherwise out of view. This maneuver easily deceives an enemy's eyes. Hmm. Also suppress presence. A latent skill that reduces an enemy's ability to perceive those who are in stealth. Whoops. Removing one's presence is part of what defines a shinobi. Doesn't tell me how many of these are gonna. Oh no, it does say how much they're gonna cost, actually. Just not uh, on the left side, but on the top right. This costs one, this costs two. Let's see what's available in prosthetic arts. Chasing Slice. Shinobi martial art that allows one to perform a forward dashing sword slice after using certain prosthetic tools, allowing one to close distance on enemies instantly. Applicable prosthetic tools, loaded shuriken, question mark, and question mark. So I guess the shuriken is the only one of the ones that I have that it would work with? Yeah. And it's the one I don't want to use? Yeah. <laughs> Although, I mean, these first ones are really cheap. They only cost one, and then it unlocks these others. So, probably going to end up getting it anyway. Grappling hook attack. That sounds good. Use the grappling hook to launch oneself at an enemy and use that momentum to perform a rolling sword attack. Shinobi prosthetic is the perfect tool for co for combining movement and attack into one, ensuring no movement is wasted. Hell yes. <laughs> Potency for Emma's medicine. Oh, heals more. Increases the healing effects of recovery items. Emma taught this technique to the sculptor long ago. Memorizing the flavor will enhance its effects. However, knowing this technique doesn't make the medicine taste any better. <laughs> Nightjar Slash. A spinning leap attack that can quickly close or create distance from foes. Technique of the Nightjar clan, the shinobi who serve Ashina. The Nightjar use the weight of their massive shuriken to add force to the blow. The shinobi prosthetic is made of heavy steel and can be used in a similar capacity. Spinning leap attack, quickly close or create distance from foes. This is one of the ones that has to be equipped, so I'd have to have this slotted in instead of the whirlwind attack. Not that I've had much luck with the whirlwind attack. <laughs> yeah. Before I forget, let's spend my money. The only thing I can buy at one of the sculptor statues is just spirit emblems, which I don't exactly need a huge amount of right now. So, only other person I can think of to buy things from is Crow's Bed Memorial Mob up here. 268 sen? Sen, right? Yeah, sen. I was going to say sovereigns because that's in sunless guys. <laughs> mm. I mean, like coin purse, I still don't know how much that gives you when you use them, but that's basically like investing your money in something that will always stay with you. Yeah. Oh, pellets, though. That's good. Mm. Let's get two pellets. I guess I. Oh, that's how many that's available. That number. Firecrackers are damn expensive. It says they frighten animals. Um, yeah, let's buy another coin purse and then I guess another pellet. You can't because you already have. Oh, oh, never mind. It puts it in storage. Yeah, it just goes in storage. So it'll restore it when I go to a, a sculpture. <laughs> Oh, and I was about to, like, go all the way back to a sculpture, but I don't need to. That's what the bone is for. Let's use it for the first time. Wait, it's not a bone. What is it? <laughs> uh, <I> Homeward <laughs> Idol. <laughs> 
That's not sprint. That's suck. S U C C, it's the suck button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's test out the two new prosthetic tools the loaded axe and the flame vent. So I've got them equipped here. This is basically like a hotbar for prosthetic tools. Once you've got them there, then you can press Y to select through them. Uh, I'm going to start a free fight with this person so I can test them out in combat, and I'm hoping it won't consume spirit emblems if I'm training with them. They might even have new training, actually, because of those new skills, do they? No. Okay, let's try out the loaded axe. Wow, that is... That is a hell of a hit. Yeah. Very slow, but... Whew. Fucks up their posture. Yeah, and also hurts our vitality. Can I, like, load it up? So just... Just pressing it once. Ugh. Does that. What if I hold it? Hmm, I think it's the same. Oh, it uses a spirit emblem each time. Wait, so did it actually use them? It shouldn't, right? But then why would it be... <sighs> hmm. Yeah, it all uses spirit emblems, I guess. Please give me my emblems back after this fight. Oh my god, really? Rip. So they don't let you train with these tools? Oh, that blows. And there's no specific training for them. Right? No. Okay. Well, we'll see how much I had stored up. <laughs> oh, mm. yeah, I think you're good. Oh, I had 66 stored up? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're good. Well, okay. Hell, then I might as well go try out the uh, flamethrower thing. Ooh, that uses three of them. And I think this uses two? Yeah, it uses two. Damn. I'm hoping it's such a strong attack that it'll be good for, like, busting through those people's shields. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how the axe is sticking out. Like, my elbow. Yeah, the whole, like, prosthetic being able to, like, switch like this re reminds me a lot of, once again, Bloodborne. Because I had those weapons with dual purposes where you could, like, switch them between different modes. It's somewhat similar. Very sexy. It is. Is there anything else I want to do with them? Not really. Uh, Can you romance them? Did you see flirt action? The zombie? Yeah. No. Oh. Okay, I totally forgot about the grappling hook attack skill that I got, so let me see if I can use it. Just during general combat with this person. Uh, well, I'm pressing the grappling button and it's not working, so yeah, maybe you do need grapple points or something? To somehow interact with them? I thought I would just, like, use it on the person that I'm targeting. Hmm. Okay, at the Harada Estate now. I want to try out the grappling hook attack. It says... Press the attack button during grappling hook movement. Use the forward momentum of your landing to perform a powerful sword attack. So I was thinking you'd use a grappling hook on, like directly on the person during a fight, but that's not how it works. It looks like you need to have uh, a point to go to, and then while going to a point, somehow attack somebody. Uh, well, let's see if we can get it to work with this person. Like, hey, there's a... It's a grapple point. Am I going to somehow attack them while not having them focused? That's not the right button. Yeah, it does seem to just do the attack where you land. How is that ever going to be useful? Like, there's no way to use that on this enemy because there's no grapple point for them. I can think of almost no opportunity where there's been an enemy right at where I go to grapple. Huh. 
Yeah, even if I keep them locked. Okay. Weird. Okay. Let's go back through here. I can deflect these, can't I? Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Alright, let's try these shield dudes again. I'm going to use the axe to try to break through it all. I mean, I can't approach this sneakily. Give me that. <laughs> oh, yes. That's the way to do it. Just broke their whole shield. Oh, and they get tired after they lunge at you. I'm going to try to take this one without using the axe. I just want to see some other opportunities. Trying some stuff out. I think you could hit them after they do that attack, but I just gotta be faster. Jeez. Maybe the axe just really is the best way to do this. Yeah. Like, they attack so fast. I'm gonna try a little bit more. I'm trying to deflect. Can you even block that shield dash? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to just leave this here, just leave it guarding, and see if they try to shield bash me. Please shield bash me. I think they did, so I think you can block it. It just happens so fast, I can't even react to it. Yeah. You need to hone your shinobi senses. Yeah, it's got to be the axe. Damn. But you can deflect them. Makes me want to try and not waste my spirit emblems. Alright, take another crack at the shield people. Ooh. God, that's so good. Fucking hell. You just got a spirit emblem for killing that dude. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try to deflect one more time. What the hell? Oh, 
Holy shit. She can fucking you up. Someone told me if you jump on animals, it like kills them. I don't think that's true for these. <laughs> Not for these, maybe wolves or something. Oh. Wolves are a lot weaker than roosters in this world. Yeah. It's very unrealistic. Okay. Nice. Okay. They seem like they don't want to attack very often. They do it very rarely. But if you hit them, it seems to usually bait out a shield bash, which then means I know it's coming and it can actually deflect it. Okay. I'm going to go rest. Whoops. Because I have, like, no healing items. That was just experimentation. Next one's for real. That's what you always say, but you keep being bisexual. Okay, this time's not for practice. This time I'm actually getting through here, which means even though I know I can deflect, maybe... Maybe you should bait out the guy without the shield. First. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, this will be a great test of the uh, ceramic shards. I think they heard that, but it didn't actually hit him. Seem to kind of work. Uh, yeah, I don't think the others are coming after me. Yeah. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was horrifying. Sound in the world. <laughs> Cock <-a> doodle too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the death bell. The death knell. Hmm. Okay, axe one, and then I'm going to try my newfound tactic on the other one. Fighting patterns. This feels good. Did I say fighting? I'm finding. Yeah. I'm finding patterns. I can smell like the wet forest. Oh, hit my mic. Wet forest, wet moss smell in this place. Looks really good. Yeah, I bet it smells wonderful. Like a uh, petrichor. I think is the word for the smell after rain. I played a game on my channel years ago called Petrichor. Let's all go watch it. <laughs> it's probably. And comment that <laughs> if we're watching it so that she'll know that even her old videos are being appreciated. She <laughs> loves her old videos being watched. I love my older, lower quality videos. Before you became much sellout. <laughs> Play AAA games. I think it was a free game. It was a really small little indie game. I want to get to the top of this thing, but I don't think I can. Oh, no, you can hide in flowers? Aww. Yes. Romantic ninja. Oh, that one's special. They got two. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. I 
I think I only got their attention, but they're not going to come towards me because they're an archer. Hmm. Oh. They know something's up. Oh, they have a, uh, a halberd spear thing? That's my weapon. <laughs> that is. Halby. Halby. Nope. I mean, fuck, I guess I just gotta fight him, right? Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. Specifically telling me how to counter thrust attacks. I already know, but uh, I guess that tells me what this enemy's gonna use. They cannot be blocked, but they can be deflected. Hey, why are they switching up the their uses of the word? They cannot be guarded, is what it said in the tutorial, but now it says cannot be blocked, but they can be deflected. That's confusing. Bad translation. The Makiri counter skill also counters thrust attacks, and performing it successfully will do a greater posture damage than a normal deflect. That's fine, I'm sure I don't need it. Shinobi Hunter, Enshin of Misen. Oh, there's Shinobi Hunter. Isn't there a hunter who's a shinobi, or they hunt shinobis? They probably hunt shinobis. Yeah, I think that's what it means. Oh. Wow. <gasps> oh man, look, there's people up there, too. Uh, I think I'm gonna back off and just, like, get out of this encounter. And reset him, because I think I need to take some of them out through stealth. some sneaky way to... Oh, that's how you get up there. Ah, so you can get up to the top of this tower using this tree. Cool. God, that movement is game so satisfying. Yeah. Can I just, like, jump over there? I don't see why not. I'm just looking at all the mossy wetness. Mm. Be careful, it's slippery. Oh, and this is how you get over there. To stealth kill those people. To take them out. Okay. I will be careful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh god, fucking hell, they're already up here. <laughs> oh, they are fast. So slow. Okay. Alright, just you and me. I'm gonna die so quick. So they're doing thrust attacks. I can deflect or dodge to the side. Right, right. Fuck. You can't guard. You can only deflect. Whew. Should be able to just run past most of them. Oh, Jesus. 